Hey, what's up guys? This is Faisal back again with a new product review. Today I have with me my latest acquisition about a couple of weeks ago that I picked up on OlivePlanet.in. This is a military laptop backpack. This is more or less between 20 to 25 liters. Ideally suited for those who work in the urban terrain or urban scenario whether you're a school student or a teacher or somebody in the IT sector there's got enough space for carrying your EDC items or your whatever equipment that you use if you are somebody who loves outdoors can be used for daily hikes I used it on my trip on my trip latest trip about a, I just came back about a week week ago I had gone for a visit to North Bengal near the Sikkim border so I've been using this for my daily hikes over there. Secondly, if you're somebody who loves, who's a biker, loves to go out on rides for the day, this is ideally suited for that. Or even if you're a traveler who likes to travel light, uh, like you see there are many travelers who put most of their main luggage into the main or main items into the main luggage and they just carry an ordinary handbag. This is ideally suited for that purpose also. As a whole, it is a multi usable bag so this review is about this plus it's also about what i carry with me on a daily basis basically this has now become like a get home bag for me this is a 12 hour to 24 hour backpack a get home bag for me basically consists of certain items that i carry with me on a daily basis when i leave my home all right now this is basically calculated upon the time or the distance that my office is all right and vice versa so that in case of an emergency that could be a natural disaster for example an earthquake or etc or maybe some civil dispute and I have to get back home quickly the items stored in here basically will help me or enable me to do so so this is why this is my get home bag so this video is basically about what I carry and along with the personal review of this laptop backpack now before i begin the review let me just talk to you about olive planet olive planet is one of the premier sites for selling military as well as tactical goods not only for the military or law enforcement but also for the general public this was one of the first sites that started selling online as of i remember because i purchased one of their water bottle holders almost three years ago and i'm still using it all right easily one of the best sites for selling top quality products now there have been hundreds of companies who work but these guys started by two ex army men are one of the first to start online now you've got many other companies coming in but these guys were one of the first to come in and as i said they sell top notch quality so this is basically the backpack as i told you it's a military backpack about 20 25 liters now it's made of 1000d nylon thus providing it that extra durability as compared to other traditional backpacks moreover it also provides some amount of rain resistance now another very important feature about this backpack is its unique design where you can add on packs or pouches as and when required required as per your job or your campaign or etc whatever this is the advantage of the molly webbing that is provided to you okay so what we're going to do is let us begin now this comes in three different colors the traditional black you've got the olive light green and a dark green now, i got my eyes on the dark green also which may be at the end of this month provided that finance is okay i may purchase that so let's begin the review so that's basically the material now this bag costs about 2999 Yes, it is expensive. Most of you may feel it's too much of money. I can get a cheaper backpack on the other websites. That's true. But you won't get the quality as this is made of. This is made of 1000D quality. Uh, 1000D nylon, which is military grade. So this will last you for a very, very long time. And in other words, for me, it's like an able ally for me. All right. So let's begin with the review. Let's start from the back. Now. This bag can be used in three different ways. You can use it as a traditional backpack or if you want you can use it as a sling bag or a messenger bag or an ordinary handbag. Okay, let's begin with the first is using it as an ordinary handbag. You've got your two traditional handles 
along with this velcro strap over here what it does is you just insert the two handles in here close it up so seed it off with the velcro strap that's it this is the ordinary way of holding as a handbag second if you want to use it as a backpack you've got the traditional shoulder straps now these sh shoulder straps are a little different as compared to the normal backpack let me just show it to you now you've got the normal backpacks all right they come with the normal straight shoulder straps these guys come with curved now the purpose of having curved shoulder strap basically is that these will take the shape of your back allowing you giving you proper comfort in case you're carrying heavy items all right it takes the shape of your back now it comes with the two traditional d-rings where you can attach a carabiner for attaching items now in case you want to use it as a messenger bag or a sling bag you have an option now if you notice over here there is one compartment given to you this can be used in two different ways first you can use it for storing items if you're using it as a traditional backpack or if you're using it as a messenger bag or a sling bag you have to use this for storing your straps how do you do it first open the two clips here and here okay insert both the straps into here into the holder or into the compartment like this they both go in the down straps fold it a little bit push it into the, these two slots which have been provided to you okay just quickly shove it in same over here fold it a little bit quickly shove it into these two slots provided these two pockets provided right below here okay now they provide you with the sling straps all right this is the carabiner style one okay on the sides if you notice you have these two rings for holding to making it into a sling bag simply just put it in connect it slide it in this way that's it you've got yourself a messenger bag or a sling bag this is your choice if you want to carry it as a backpack like me i'm more accustomed to carrying backpacks all right simply what you have to do is remove the clips this way bend it forward pull out again bend the clip and pull out remove take out the back shoulder straps out remove the below pull out the below straps from in here connect same for this side pull them out very simple connect and voila you've got your backpack ready to go okay now in case you're using a backpack you could use this compartment for so storing certain items but make sure the items have to be flat all right because you cannot store a water bottle here although it will go in it won't be possible to wear it as a backpack all right it's going to hurt and cause a lot of discomfort okay. so this option is there for you plus you've got the two d-rings in case you want to carry anything both on the left and the right you have the water bottle packs which is included all right it comes with this velcro strap plus you have this string, string system to ensure that the bottle doesn't fall off because very often what happens is when we carry water bottles and the most of the other backpacks when we start to run or we are quickly moving around bottle water bottles could fall off so let me just show it to you like for example this is the backpack over here what we do normally is put in our water bottles fine but what happens is sometimes in a hurry it can fall off because it's practically open there's nothing to protect it or to hold it tight here this problem has been taken care of how you've got your velcro strap out here and you've got this knotted string system here okay you expand according to the size of the water bottle this opens up you take your water bottle insert it in here till it goes down next use the strap to hold and the string system you stretch it out cover your water bottle so this ensures that the water bottle is not going to fall off that easily 
okay so very smart system is being introduced depending on the size of the water bottle so you have both water bottle holders on the left as well as on the right right now in the front when you come to the front you've got your traditional molly webbings for adding extra packs like for example these belt clips you want to add in you can add in extra packs if you want you've got two velcro straps over here given to you spaces for adding morale patches or your name tag or if you want to put in those uh, tags which contain your blood group etc that option is there for you all right See, next comes the first compartment you open the two clips okay now the zips over here are ykk zips so quality of zips is also up to the mark you've got your two belt clips out here open up here's the company logo olive planet here's your first compartment is your basically your admin compartment all right have a look enough space for storing items you've got two pouches out here one maybe you can put in your wallet or your phone or the your diary etc your space for putting in your pen in case you have a pen like for example i have got a pen i haven't bought my pen you can insert your pen in here or maybe here you can insert let's say your headphone or your other items say your spectacles etc plus your space in here for storing items next comes your main compartment all right now the main compartment is again divided into three other compartments now you have a look this is basically your main compartment where you can store a 14 to 15 inch laptop easily with enough space there's another sleeve over here where you can store items okay maybe your file or books etc even if you have a 14 inch laptop you can put it in here instead of putting it here and plus you have another sleeve on top for adding extra items so basically you've got one you've got two you've got three all right three sleeves for storing your items okay now this may look small to most of you but don't go about size because you can store up to a lot of items in here i've been using this for my daily hikes when i was in the hills recently so it worked properly for me i had no problem whatsoever okay so this is basically the military laptop bag by olive planet okay now you may think once again don't go by the price because the price is justified because of the quality all right this is a pack that is going to last you for a long long time so instead of spending every money every six months or a year buying a new pack it is advisable better that you spend a little extra buy yourself a pack that will last you all right you take proper care to this and i'm sure and guarantee this will last you a lifetime all right these items these bags are built for that purpose all right they have been built taking consideration main point is durability and longevity two important points that have been taken into consideration for this so that is why the price is justified okay so for me i am fully satisfied with this backpack so i'm going to show you now what i carry with me basically on a daily base as i said this is like a get home bag for me all right now get home bag as i told you i am calculating the distance between my office and my home in case of emergency how quickly i can come back because my main concern is my family back home getting back to my mother and my sister is my main concern so on the basis of this my bag items in the bag is being designed okay so let's begin now let's begin from the back the two d-rings is empty i'm not attaching anything nor am i putting in this pouch over here anything okay we begin first with the main compartment now, what do i keep i'm going to here basically utilize the first compartment and the middle the third compartment which is here this also i'm going to leave it blank as of now first let's start with the sides now i don't carry a water bottle on the side because i normally carry my water bottle inside however on the side i'll be utilizing it for a different purpose and that is most importantly i'll be putting in a crepe bandage as you know crepe bandage is very necessary we were we were trained to carry these when we for a long long time never know when an injury you may fall injure your hand you need to quickly bandage this helps so i do carry one which remains in here okay i have an israeli bandage which i just can't find it so if i find it will be inserted onto this side 
okay this red bandage is basically used to stop for big wounds to stop bleeding etc it's available on amazon now nowadays but it's pretty expensive now we were trained to use an israeli bandage so I, that's the reason why i do carry one now coming up to the main compartment the first thing that i'll put in i'll insert in is my water bottle in the middle standing okay now next to come in here will be basically my mini edc kit which i carry with me on a daily basis all right i picked this small pouch up from the athlon it's still available okay so what do i carry in this basically a basic idea is i'll just give you a basic idea okay here i do carry two multi tools one with this one with a knife plus it's got a fork and spoon i got a ferro rod over here i have a small mini knife with me all right which i always carry i have a headlamp in case i need to use it i have a multi tool a bosch multi tool which has got about 12 to 16 tools different tools in it plus i've got some uh, tissue paper i've got some cotton wool and i've got some tinder in case i need to start a fire depending upon the situation in case i'm in such a location where i need to keep myself warm very essential in case you guys want to know what i carry with me because i've ordered for one more pouch which should be coming in hopefully that will have some more items so in case you do want to know what i carry as an edc in my edc pouch drop in a comment and i'll make a separate video for that so this goes in here along with my medical kit all right this is basically a basic first aid kit which i carry with me again ah, we were trained to carry this so that's the reason why now what do i carry this let me just quickly go through and show you okay now i've got quite a lot of items i've got some medical gauze with me which i carry scissors i have a sling for in case you end up with a fracture you need a sling you can make one over there i've got some band-aids which is the most commonly used both the rectangular shape and the square shape i've got some smaller bandages also bigger larger bandages for bigger wounds i've got disposable gloves medical tape i've got some burn gel in case you end up burning your hands light burns you can use this gel plus i've got antiseptic liquid plus antiseptic cream i've got an extra band bigger bandage plus i've got some uh, alcohol wipes also with me or iodine wipes to clean the wound before applying any medicine so this is basically my medical kit all right again i've ordered for one more medical new medical kit which should be arriving soon hopefully by the end of this month from abroad once it comes in i'll make a separate video for that in case you do want to see one drop in a comment i'll make a separate video on my basic first aid kit most important thing i never leave home without this in fact all those who love the outdoors who love hiking camping you should always carry one with you wherever you go because you never know when an injury can happen either to you or maybe to your friend all right so these two basically go in here next most important thing which goes in here is this this is basically a top which i bought on amazon mainly used for various purposes number one it can be used for signaling because of its color number two it can be used for making a temporary shelter for rain or snow whatever depending upon the situation it can also be used as a temporary poncho to cover yourself during rain all right something very essential again something which a camper or a hiker should carry with you i do carry it some people may argue that you know in an urban scenario you may not require this true but however i just carry it just in case so this goes into my front pouch or the front compartment along with this packet of some extra disposable face masks which i carry next most important thing which goes in is paracord 550 paracord i always carry this whole bunch with me i never leave home without it as you know there are hundreds and uses of paracord from tying ropes knots all right you can also use the inside portion for making a emergency fishing line for survival plus this has also helped me because i remember a couple of years ago when i went for a trip my one of my shoulder strap store i had this i had to make a temporary or a you know temporary solution how by making 
using some paracord making one extra strap and it did work out so so that's why i'm very grateful for paracord and i carry this along with me always next is the strap for using it as a sling bag this goes in here so basically this is what i carry in front and yes i do have a packet of cracker biscuits which i carry in case i feel hungry on the way now some of you may argue and say hey you don't have any food ration you're creating a you're creating a get home bag without any food ration now there's a particular reason for that is mostly i carry one or two packets of biscuits and one or two packets of protein bars that is good enough to get me back home as you know this bag has been designed for home to office and back from office to home my, my office is about 30 to 35 minutes by walking so it's quite close it's not that very far so that is why i have prepared this backpack and i carry these resources or these items according to the distance and the time if my office was located say two hours away from home which means two hours going to us coming that is four hours so in case of emergency obviously then i will have more rations in here so however as per the as per the distance and the time i do carry one or two packets of biscuits and i said one or two protein bars with me however protein bars i cannot use it right now that i put it in just before i leave all right so this is basically what i carry in my main compartment now coming to the main admin compartment out here and this admin compartment what do i carry oops just a sec always something else i'm falling here we go now first is my 10,000 milliampere power bank which i carry with me it goes in here sorry next what i put in is i have a small pouch and a diary for copying down notes in case i need to next is this now in this small ziploc bag i have some extra amount of cash all right so i carry about 1500 in here now you guys must be thinking why this is in case of emergency say there's an emergency and i lose my wallet or i drop my wallet or can't find my wallet or maybe my wallet gets robbed this is what this may be required to get back home all right now normally it remains in my backpack out here but in the case of emergency say i'm in office there's an emergency has been announced in those situations the first thing i'm going to do is before coming out of my office i'm going to take this out and i'm going to insert it in my socks all right because you see in case of an emergency sometimes the backpack can get robbed so in that way you lose not only your wallet but also your backpack so i'm going to insert that into my socks all right that's how we were trained carrying you know other items also in your socks in case of an emergency so this will be inserted directly into my socks however in the case of an emergency plus i've got my traditional headphones which i carry the wired headphones i don't use these bluetooth headphones so that goes in i've got a set of keys this is my apartment keys where i live along with the emergency whistle plus i've got a small mini flashlight by phoenix all right this is a usb chargeable flashlight and it's got about 700 and 700 or 750 lumens all right so this is and i have attached it to this duchi key this is also another type of a multi-tool i do have a few not few i've got about four or five multi-tools with me in case you want to know about that drop in a comment i'll make a separate video on multi-tools also of what i possess all right so this goes in here in here i have an extra pair of spectacles because you see i have specs and the last thing i want is my specs to break okay and anything else which goes in here no. and my pen i've forgotten to bring my pen so normally i have one or two pens standing by in here one black and one blue so this is basically my admin portion which i will be using of thing that i carry okay here's the pack now the front portion what do i carry in here i've got these two pouches which i'll get attaching out here okay now the first pouch in here now these i picked up on amazon it's available it's cost between 300 to 400 rupees now what do i carry in here first i've got one paracord bracelet i'm not a very big fan of them so i don't wear that very often but sometimes gets the work done it's got some paracord attached to it it has an emergency whistle it has a compass plus it's got a 
ferro rod out here which you can use for starting fire this is the st starter all right you can use it so just show you and this there you go a few sparks out there plus i've got this pouch which you can use for putting in your phone in case it starts to rain and i've got one small body deodorant which i carry this goes in here and your paracord bracelet in here all right the second pouch which will be here which will be attached here this will what does this have basically some gel not gel this is some hand sanitizer this is in the gel form okay this can also act as a fuel for starting a fire because it's got 70% alcohol, alcohol base so obviously highly flammable you can use this on your tinder to start fire easily I've got an extra flashlight out here this is just a basic flashlight that I picked up on Amazon can be used as a glass breaker also and I've got some mouth refreshment over here so this basically is what I carry in here with my flashlight okay now I'll be attaching the pouches to my backpack so I'm going to show you that now normally how do we do this very simple it comes with these belt clips and plus it's got some molly in the back in the pouches what we do is just push it down through the molly webbing all right just push it down clip on that's it that's the normal and the easiest way and the traditional way of doing it all right so let me just show it to you how to how it is done basically now this obviously anybody knows anybody and everybody knows push it in here same for here in here goes into the second layer comes onto the third layer and that's it and what do you do just clip on here clip on here that's it it's attached but a little loose now what do you do for this looseness basically another way of attaching this pouch to your molly webbing is the military style that like how we were taught basically the trick is first how do you do it first see how long your belt clips are all right here you will have to utilize the molly webbing that is given on your pouch in the back what you're going to do is you cannot use all all right so you'll be using the first and the last the middle one you're going to leave it blank you can use the middle one but i prefer using the first and the third so instead of using the second layer you're going to put it back into the molly webbing on the pouch all right so this is how normally in the military they use for inserting these pouches now what do you do how do you do it simple put it in to the first layer okay now instead of putting it directly in like how normally we do we use the pouch push it back into the pouch the molly webbing on the pouch okay open it push it back in here same for this push it back in here okay obviously you can't use it in the second use it on the third layer on the backpack in here same for this push it in the third layer again here not in the second in the third in here in here now attach it it's tighter it's more tight and more firm as compared previously so this is how is the correct way of attaching a pouch to your molly layer same comes for this this will be put here instead of using what i'm going to do is first check the length of the belt clips again two molly pouches have been provided insert this in here and here it goes in again i'm not going to utilize these two layers i'm going to put it back in all right here you have our choice now in here we use the first layer here we're going to use the second layer in the pouch in here this goes in here okay now use come to the third layer over here on the pack push this in here also using the third layer now simply close up pull it through and close up that's a tight as well so correct way of attaching your pouches okay this closes in in here I have one carabiner with me light carabiner with me instead of putting it in the d-ring i leave it here in case i want to use 
and of course my cap I don't leave home with this because as you know summer is here I'll stay in Calcutta which is one of the it is really really hot out here temperatures reach over 40 all right so can't leave home without this this most probably I'll attach it in here so this is basically my get home bag that I carry with me on a daily basis however as you know this is basically when I travel from my home to office and back now if I'm going to a shop to buy something I'm not going to carry this it's common sense all right this is when I'm going to spend at least a couple of hours say three four hours away from home this is going to be with me or it's going to remain in, my, in the car so this is what a get home bag for me is however this is not a bug out bag okay a bug out bag is something different it is obviously a bug out bag is normally for a period of 72 hours this is for a period of 12 to 24 hours normally 12 hours bug out bags are normally for 72 hours all right obviously they're bigger they carry more items 72 hours means you've got to have a lot of rations in it in it also depending upon the size of the individual or the family okay so this is basically my get home bag so that's it this is the review of now before i finish this video let me just tell you any drawbacks now basically there are no drawbacks for me this is perfectly designed the only problem that was with me was concerning my size you know these straps were slightly short for me so what i did is one of my old backpacks which i'm not using which is torn i cut off the straps on there i got it restitched onto here onto the main strap that came and therefore that solved my problem now the bag fits me perfectly do check out i'll leave the description of the bag and olive planet check out olive planet for the various types of <coughs> military items and tactical goods they sell okay and they as i said top class quality you're not going to regret buying anything from them do check out the review my reviews up also over there on olive planet i put up also a few one or two photographs of me wearing this backpack how it looks in uh, on my back in case you're looking for something for 20 to 25 liters something which is small ideally suited this is an option out there for you all right so i guess this is it for this video until next time in case you like this video click click on the thumbs up subscribe to my channel as it as you know all this helps in my little channel to grow secondly if you dislike this video you don't like it you can always click the dislike button this choice is up to you until next time when i come again with another review take care god bless stay safe